Today I'm making a PB&J smoothie. Growing up, my favorite sandwich to take to school was peanut butter and jelly. And this recipe recreates that combination in a smoothie form. I like to think of smoothies as a way to add some nutrition extras to my diet that I might not get elsewhere. And in this smoothie, I'm gonna add a combination of seeds. This is flax, chia, and hemp seeds, but you could certainly use any combination of seeds you like, but these seeds give extra protein, fiber, healthy fat in the form of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. I buy this combination of seeds that I keep in the freezer just to keep it fresh, but you could certainly use any combination of seeds or even just one or two of these type of healthy seeds to add to your smoothie. My favorite jelly to put on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich was always grape jelly, so I'm going to use grapes in this smoothie. They give extra fiber, vitamins and minerals, and actually hydration too because there's a lot of water in grapes. I'm using red grapes, and these in particular contain an antioxidant called resveratrol, which actually has anti-inflammatory properties. So to start the smoothie, I'm gonna add one cup of milk, and this could be dairy milk, soy milk, or plant-based milk, but just keep in mind that dairy and soy milks contain more protein than most plant-based milks do. But use whatever milk you like. So that's one cup of milk. And in making a smoothie, you wanna start with the most liquid ingredients in your blender first. That way you don't put stress on the blades, make it harder for that to smoothie to blend up. So then I'm gonna add some peanut butter. This is one and a half tablespoons of peanut butter. And then I've got a quarter cup of oats, and this is kind of replacing the bread that goes in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But the oats actually give a lot of fiber, particularly soluble fiber too, and adds some texture to the smoothie. Then I've got my seeds, two tablespoons of seeds. And as I mentioned, this is a combination of flax, hemp, and chia seeds, but you could use any one or two or three of those combinations. And then lastly, I'm adding the grapes. And these grapes have actually been frozen, so that's gonna help give the smoothie a very frosty texture too. About one cup of grapes. And then we're just gonna blend this up, and if you need to stop during and scrape it down, you can do that. You could certainly drink it just like this, but I like to add some ice to it at the end to help give it really a more frosty, milkshake-like texture. So I'm just gonna add a handful of ice. And blend that up again. Depending on the type of milk used, this smoothie contains about 400 calories, 21 grams of protein, and 11 grams of fiber. So I would have this as a meal replacement, maybe for breakfast or lunch, or you could certainly split it into two servings and have it as a snack. So if you're a PB&J fan like I am, I hope you give this nutrient-packed smoothie a try.